Alchemy Restaurant and Bar is a hidden treasure right here on Eagle Street next door to Customs House and you won't find a better view of Story Bridge or the Brisbane River than right here. And what a beautiful day it is to be soaking up the views. We're joined by Alchemy's owner and chef, Brad Jolly. Thank you for joining us. Good afternoon, how are you? I'm good. Now you've had a pretty amazing career so far. What was it like cooking for the Queen? I think I have to ask that. Well, um, cooking for the Queen was actually quite um, enjoyable actually. It was like, she didn't like the actual um, too strong flavours, but she actually liked um, a little bit of fish and, uh, you know, potatoes cooked right and all that kind of stuff. So it was actually a bit of a challenge, but uh, we enjoyed it. And you were quite young when you did that, weren't you? Yeah, I was only about uh, 18, 18 years old, so it was actually uh, an experience in itself. It was were you great. nervous? That would freak me yeah, out, I think. A, 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 little bit, a little bit nervous, <laughs> but, um, you know, she came in a lot, so we actually looked after her quite a bit, and it was enjoyable, yeah. Fantastic. And you've also worked with Jamie Oliver? Jamie Oliver's another one that um, uh, springs to mind. He's a, he's a great lad. He, uh, he uh, knows how to work the crowd, and he, uh, he does a fantastic job at uh, bringing out uh, the great products and uh, using them to their best advantage. And uh, also, um, he cooks things that um, people at the home can cook, which is fantastic. Absolutely. So, yeah. Well, he's a great chef, as are you, and you've made up some things for us yeah, today. Yeah, today we're actually going to try a little bit of, um, a little bit of duck first. Yep. Uh, what we did was um, we actually roasted off the duck with um, a little bit of beetroot, uh, risotto, caramelised beetroot, some anchovy crisps and a little bit of cream spinach, white wine sauce. And then we thought we'd go with the um, tuna. Um, it's like a niswa salad uh, with the um, chocolate caviar on the side here. And then for dessert, um, potato um, gnocchi. Uh, it's basically like a dumpling uh, or a uh, donut with uh, a chocolate swirl and a little bit of a uh, strawberry salad there as well. Now Brad, what are you preparing for us here? Today we're going to actually um, go cook going to be freezing a few things with uh, liquid nitrogen. Now the liquid nitrogen is uh, running at about uh, minus uh, 194 degrees Celsius, wow. so it's actually very cold. Uh, today we're going to try a little bit of um, honeycomb, which we'll be making in the restaurant. Fantastic. Now the honeycomb is uh, quite dense, so when you go to eat it, it's going to be nice and, um, nice and moist, but it's actually going to disintegrate in your mouth. What you're going to do is you're going to pick it up with your fingers like that, pop the whole thing in your mouth. Okay. okay. Is it going to bite. freeze my fingers off? No, it'll be fine. And you bite down on it and breathe out your nose. Okay. Oh my God. Well, that was absolutely beautiful. I loved that and I loved the food as well. Thank you so much for showing us around, Brad. Thank you very much.